Hey guys, I bet there's a lot of shit going on in your lives right now because I took a really big jump in your lives. That was a thousand times funnier in my head. But hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today I'm going to talk about fun things I don't like to do in other people's houses. But first, I'd like to say something. I don't understand why people should be picked up for things that just happen with them. Like, for example, if your pants rips, well, you're probably gonna be picked on for that. Or, if you forget your bathing uh, shorts when you're entering a pool, you'll never hear the end of it. Trust me. I know. Or if you fart, like, in a classroom or something. Come on, guys. It happened to all of us. And, for example, if people sharded themselves, the next day everybody would have heard of it, like, Yeah, you're the guy that sharded his pants. You're the guy that drip shit on all the floor. Yeah, you're the one that has the stinky boxers. Yeah, things like that. It's not like people short themselves on purpose. I mean, like, who would do that? And forgetting your swimming shorts? I mean, like, it's not like you're art. I bet there's someone that would like people to see, you know, their dong. Or, or the, 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 the vagina. I just figured out that all that I mentioned right here is about ass, so I'm just gonna stop now. Okay, then things you don't like to do in other people's houses. Number one, take a dump. I mean, like, I don't like doing it in other people's houses, because that's something you do at your place. I don't like people doing it at my place. I don't like my bathroom filled with shit stench of another person. No one likes that, unless, you know, they like to eat shit. You know, some people do that. Number two, go to the floor where their parents are to get something. We have all experienced that. For example, if you want some something to drink, the person would be like, yeah, yeah, just go down to the kitchen and get a glass. I don't want to go down to the kitchen because his mother is standing there making food. That's not the way I roll. Number three, staying in their room without them being there. I don't mean like if they're just going to get something, going to a toilet or something. I mean like, if they're just going to practice or going to leave the house for something that will take short amount of time. Or if they're not home yet and you're going to visit them and they'll be like, yeah, 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 you just go and wait in my room. No, you don't do that. That's awkward. You just will be sitting in a room like, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and text till he comes back because I don't want to touch anything. No, I don't gonna touch anything. Number four taking a shower. It's like, when you're going to someone else's place and you're going to take a shower, you will be entering their bathroom, and in some occasions, other people's bathrooms are really dirty. I don't like dirty places. And then you're going to enter the shower, and you never know what they have done there. They might have been masturbating, or squirting ketchup all around, or swimming on the floor, I don't know what people like to do. So yeah, then you walk in and you started showering. Then you're suddenly standing there with the choice of all the shampoos in the world and none of them are the types that you use. So you're just standing like there, um... Is this shampoo good? Is it even shampoo? Let's try it. Hmm. Dick soap. Makes it all clean and squishy. I don't think I want my dick to be squishy. And then the worst part? Everybody else, except for your own shower, Everybody else is just using this advanced system of getting the hot water. You just could be standing there, yeah. Is this the hot water? I think this one turns the water on. What's this third button for? Is that even a button? No, that's cold water. Nope, that turns on the camera. I don't even know why they would have a secret camera in the shower. But anyway, yeah. When you're in the shower, you will either freeze to death or get a third degree burn marks on all of your body. And if that's not bad enough, after you're done showering, you gotta find the towels. And you never know who used the towel before you. This is why I don't shower at other people's places. Number five, eating dinner. They'd just be asking you, yeah, do you want some dinner? And you're like, yeah, sure, I want some dinner because dinner. And then you're going down and you're expecting like meat, bacon, whatever type of food you like. And they're having like dishes you never heard of filled with gluten-free stuff and proteins and vegetables and they're having peanut butter on their steak and god knows what. Why do people like eating peanut butter on their steak? And then you're just sitting there and you're going to eat this 
Because you can't believe you just said that you wanted to eat. And then you gotta fill your mouth with full of stuff that you don't even like and you have to eat it and then you have to tell them how good the food was. You can't just be like, oh yeah, that tastes like shit, I'm never gonna eat here again, or dude, seriously? Who eats this shit? It doesn't work like that. Even breakfast or any other type of bread food. When you open the refrigerator, everyone seems to have different toppings than you are used to. And I don't eat different things than what I'm used to. Because it usually tastes like shit. There's a reason that I don't eat it. Number six, taking a smoke. Even though I'm 18, no, wait, I'm 19 now. Even though I'm 19, I still feel like I'm being judged by people's parents if I'm smoking at their place, even though I'm allowed to. It's like when you go out to take smoke, just be expecting like the dad's coming out and all. Hey, so you think you can just come here and uh, smoke at us there? Well, uh, yeah, I need a place to smoke, you know? But yeah, you can't stand outside a door. Whoa, 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 S sorry. I'm just taking a smoke. So you're gonna be bad-mouthing with me now? Uh, yeah, so You're no good to my son. I don't want to see you being with him anymore. So just leave this place. And I just left because you can't argue with an old man. It's his house. His rules. Number seven. Help cleaning. You know when people ask you to help them clean their houses or rooms or whatever? You'll probably just be standing there holding something like... Um, dude, where, did, where does this go? Because basically, you're not of a lot of help. You'll be using like 90% of the cleaning time to just be standing there. So you don't know where anything goes. And if you're thinking, yeah, this should probably go there. There's a 100% chance that it's not going there. And you'll get yelled at. Because people don't like having their stuff where it's not supposed to be. Number 8. Being me. Because basically, most parents can't handle me. And... They probably won't see my face after being me. I'll probably be banned from the house. Never to return. Thrown out. Kicked on the street. Yelled at. Getting bad looks. Back to the point. You can't go around in other people's houses and feel crazy with a lot of energy, running around, jumping in the couch and yelling swear words and vagina and talking about sex. It doesn't work like that. And I just trust me. Your friend's parents, they just don't want to see you done. I don't understand why, but they don't. Number nine. I'm all out of ideas. Um, Walking inside their house without ringing the doorbell. I happen to do that a lot because I usually don't enter other people's houses. I usually enter my house or I'm outside. No, I'm never outside. I'm just kidding with you guys. It's always awkward, you're like opening the door and their parents are standing there and they'll be like Uh, who are you? Or what are you doing here? Or why didn't you ring the door? Or uh, yeah, anything. And I'll be like, yeah, I didn't ring the door because, well, obviously, I forgot. And then you'll be like, yeah, but anyway, our Mario home? I actually don't have any friends called Mario, but that's the first name that came to my head. But when I'm thinking of it, Ringing the doorbell is actually outside their house, so playing with a fire extinguisher? I've actually done that. And no, it wasn't my idea. It was my friend's idea. And it was his parents' house. And it was a lot, a lot of dust. And it was everywhere. And he had to pay for a new floor. Not the best idea. Finally, number 10. Just simply being at other people's houses. Because being at other people's houses means that I have to leave my house, or in this situation, my room, because I live at my school. I don't have a house right now. I have a room. A really small room. That was all for today, so I'll see you guys on Sunday. I will be uploading a video of the Dares, and I think it's gonna be epic. So just keep your eyes open, and if you like the video, remember to share, like, and subscribe. You don't have to do all three, but it will make me happy.